Hello, I just wanted to just jump on here with a quick thought for the day. This is Terry Gilbert. It's really like Terry Talks on Tuesday. It's almost or Terry Talks at noon. Um, I spend a lot of time on my Transform pages now, but I just have a, um, a couple of words the Lord's really laid on my heart today. Um, after we had Bible study this morning, I'm not driving, just so y'all know. Um, I, there was a couple of things that we had in our Bible study that were just like really profound things that are very life-changing with relationships. So today I'm calling it Mind Your Own Business. Now the reason I'm calling it Mind Your Own Business is because um, we, so often when I coach people, they're, when their lives aren't working in the areas that their lives aren't working, it's because they're outwardly focused, okay? Focused on what the other person's doing or not doing. Focused on life would be better if this would change or they would change or they would do something differently. And so basically minding their business, figuring out things about them that they should be working on. But when life transformation happens is we take full responsibility for ourselves and we focus on what we can do differently in ourselves. What is it we need to change? What is it we need to, to do differently? And we, we choose to show up in a higher place in a, as a person of excellence, showing up in love and forgiveness, no matter what other people are doing. Our life is not colored by how that person shows up or doesn't show up. And I really learned this in um, in a failed marriage. Okay, so I learned this in a failure. And, and that was I was always focusing on, um, you well, if he would do this, then I would do that. Or so my response to how full or how positive or how amazing my life was, was always dictated by what other people were doing or not doing. So that's living a very reactive life, a very um, always responding to another person. So really, if you think about it, you could your life could be up or down depending on what their perspective is, how they responded to you, what they say you are. And so the goal today, the point that I'm trying to make here is that when you mind your own business, when you look into yourself and say, what is it I need to do differently? What is it that I can... Um, that I can give to someone to make their life better instead of expecting them to do it. So if you're wanting more um, time with your spouse, then give them more time. If you're wanting to, them to be more loving, you show up more loving. Stop pointing that finger and saying, how can I show up differently? You know, in scripture, it says that um, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It doesn't say wait for them to do it and then decide to do that. No, it says do unto them first. It says there's an order. Whatever we give out first, when we mind our own business and we, we show up um, the way we expect others to show up, the way we want our life to look, the way or the character that we want to walk in. When we show up like that, everything around us gets lifted up. Our responses from other people begin to change. So the goal today is just to look in your life. Where are you focused, outwardly focused and on others or your circumstances and wanting that to be different? It's called control. You cannot control what other people and circumstances are but you can control you how you show up how your what your perspective is about it how you decide to view it and how you decide to show up no matter how the other person shows up no matter if your circumstances look kind of chaotic and not good you can still have joy in the midst of a storm you can still show up um it with a person of excellence even if that other person is not doing that same thing so just y'all leave me some comments below. Um, just wanted to share that, that when you are inwardly focused and you ask the Lord to show you and you get an awareness, self-revelation of how can I grow? How can I change? How can I um, amp my life up to another level so that I can show up um, as a person of excellence or I can refine an area of my life that's not been so smooth and I can refine it and become that person of excellence instead of expecting the other people around you um, to show, for them to show up differently. How about you decide to show up differently? Y'all have an awesome day. Um, hey, Linda, thanks for watching. And Annette, I saw Annette and Anne. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all leave me some comments below. Yeah, Terry Talks on Tuesdays. I've, um, I've been enjoying the last, say, six months. I've been building a home. I've taken a little bit of a um, vacation. I have been on my transformation page, which is where I do a lot of my work. Um, but I have, I've, I've 
getting into a new season soon. I'll be moving in my house in about five weeks. And so that baby's going to be um, finished. And I'll get back to very intensive work of transformation and helping people grow their lives into to living their best life. So y'all have an awesome day. Y'all leave me some comments below on your thoughts on this. So the thought today is to mind your own business instead of somebody else's. Okay, y'all have an awesome day.